Hello everyone and welcome to our video on anesthesia amount calculation. If you have ever been curious about the intricacies behind anesthesia coding, you are in the right place. Today we are going to demystify the process and walk through the step by step on how anesthesia amounts are calculated. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome to Medcode Insight. Hi, I am Nushaba, a certified medical coder. For anesthesia amount calculation from base unit to time units, modifiers and qualifying circumstances, we will cover it all. Let's dive in into the fascinating world of anesthesia coding together. Anesthesia billing involves the allocation of different units to calculate the amount. Here is an explanation of different units commonly used in anesthesia amount calculation. First one is base unit. Base units represent the base value assigned to the specific anesthesia procedure. These units are determined based on the complexity of the procedure. Each anesthesia procedure is assigned a certain number of base unit which serve as the foundation for calculating the anesthesia fee. Next unit is the time unit. Time units are used to calculate for the duration of anesthesia services provided beyond the base value. Anesthesia services are built in 15 minutes increment with each increment corresponding to one time unit. The total duration of anesthesia services is divided by 15 minutes to determine the number of time units billable for the service. Modifier units. Modifier units may be assigned when specific modifiers are used to describe additional circumstances or condition affecting anesthesia administration. These modifiers may include physical status modifier from P1 to P6. Modifier units are added to base units and time units to adjust anesthesia fee accordingly. Physical status modifier P1, P2 and P6 have zero unit value. P3 has one unit value. P4 has two unit value and P5 has three unit value. Qualifying circumstance unit. Qualifying circumstance units are assigned when anesthesia service involve specific qualifying circumstances such as emergency conditions or complex medical conditions. These qualifying circumstance units are used to adjust the anesthesia fee accordingly. Code 99100 has one unit value, code 99116 and 99135 has five unit value, and code 99140 has two unit value. Conversion factor. Once the total number of base unit, time unit, modify unit, and qualifying circumstance is determined, they are multiplied by a conversion factor. It is used to calculate the anesthesia fee. The conversion factor represents the monetary value assigned to each unit of anesthesia service. To find the anesthesia amount calculation, we add base procedure unit with physical status modify unit, anesthesia time unit and qualifying circumstance unit. All these values are multiplied with conversion value factor. Let's take an example. Dr. Smith, an anesthesiologist, provide anesthesia services assigned a base unit value of 5 for a patient undergoing a surgical procedure. The anesthesia procedure lasts for 3 hours and involves moderate complexity. Additionally, the patient has severe systematic disease and controlled hypotension is utilized 
during the procedure as qualifying circumstance. Using conveyance factor of $100, what is the correct anesthesia charge? In this example, the base unit has the value of 5, time units for the 3 hours have the value of 12, modify unit which is for the P3 has the value of 1, qualifying circumstance unit has the value of 5 which is for the high potential double line 135 total units value after adding these values will be 23 units after multiplying 23 units with conveyance factor which is $100 our answer is $2300 Always refer to the most recent CPT guidelines and update for accurate and detailed information. If you have any question or need further clarification, feel free to ask in the comment section or reach out via email. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like share it. Your support means a lot to me. If you haven't already, consider subscribing for more. Click the bell icon to receive notifications. For more detailed guidelines, CPC mock or exam related questions and notes, email me at my giving email ID.